Hello, Shazia. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, really very thankful to you and uh, from India. Namaste. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, yes, Shazia, you have been recently awarded with the Iron Lady Award and it was really a very prestigious award. It was given in Maldives along with uh, many other uh, ladies who have uh, shown their strength and power through their work. And it was uh, really a prestigious award that you have received. How do you feel after that? Really, ma'am, I really feel much appreciated because you know what? Sometimes uh, you are doing very hard work, but without any motivation and appreciation, uh, you are like, uh, you live like a ghetto life. Like you are not, uh, what are you doing? Sometimes we feel that why, what, what is our existence? We have to do only work, work, work till uh, morning to till evening, but not any kind of appreciation, motivation. So uh, when I heard that I get this award, so literally at that day, I'm really very happy. And uh, you know what, when I posted on my Facebook, then after that, you can't believe that my Facebook wall is flooded with comments, ma'am, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. I really feel that after a long time, like uh, I'm going to interact and I'm giving answers to all of them because they are very happy. And uh, they seriously, the one word they almost told me, ma'am, you are actual Iron Lady. And uh, it, this uh, award and this award uh, really uh, uh, <laughs> understand that what you are. So I'm really very happy, ma'am. And thanks uh, for your all team for, the, uh, for thank electing you, thank me. Thank you, Shazia. For, uh, and I'm very happy. Uh, you know, because of like, if somewhere we are the reason of your happiness and smile, then really we feel very happy. So Shazia, tell us about you because, you know, I know I was going through your profile and then I have seen that how much you have done, but the audience of my channel, Jahaneman, may not be knowing much about you and for their understanding, I request you just tell us about your family background, your education and to which place you belong to and how you have come to this level where you are today. Yeah, uh, ma'am, actually, uh, I am belonging from, uh, you already heard about Bihar. And uh, almost uh, Bihar, I am from Bihar. Uh, there is a small town uh, that is subdivision. Its name is Bagha. Sometimes it's similar like Bagha border. So uh, lots of people were confused that Shazia, you are from Punjab. And I am <laughs> told them that, no, that is not Bagha, that is Bagha. Uh, Ma'am, because of uh, there is Valmiki Tiger project. That's why tiger in Hindi we call it Bagh. Okay. So that the terminology Bagha is the origin, the term is originated from Bagh. So Bagha, I am belonging from that. That is uh, basically uh, on the border of ne Indo-Nepal border. That is also a, uh, a, a, an, another state, which is Uttar Pradesh. It's also uh, as a border and that is uh, in B Bihar. So basically I am from that place. You can't believe ki that uh, sometimes people uh, heard about that, ki that you are from that small place. Then how you do this <laughs> journey? But you know what, ma'am? This, uh, these things never matter that which small place or small town you belongs. The matter is that your surrounding and your parents' faith. If your parents are exactly very excited to do something great in your life, then uh, definitely I am in Delhi and I am very doing well, as you know. So because these all things, because of my parents, if my parents can't uh, help me, then I am not able to do these things. I really appreciated my parents that they uh, almost taking all pain of their life on behalf of me and, and give me all happiness, especially in my education, that you have to continue your education. You can't believe, ma'am, uh, uh, my father is a very uh, great poet of so uh, so uh, he, my father, my mother. So basically, I'm. Uh, then after that, when I when I reached Delhi at the age of seventeen, ma'am, I'm very young at that time period. And you know what? From a small town, and you when you uh, enter in a city like Delhi, everything is new. That uh, I'm very worried that how 
uh, how can I sustain? How can I survive in this place? But uh, literally, God give me strength and uh, I am very passionate about my education. My family is very passionate that you have to uh, take education. Rather, you have to go beyond you rather which you want, whether you want library, college. So ma'am, uh, that's why with this all journey is successful. This all journey is because of my parents. That's really so inspiring, Shazia, that your parents have believed in you. They have trusted you and they have sent you from a small town to a big city like Delhi. And there you have proved yourself. You have acquired education. You have obtained your degrees. And now you yourself are making others successful in their lives. That's really a great journey. So Shazia, this is called women empowerment. You know, women empowerment, we cannot see in isolation. There are many factors. There are many elements involved to empower a woman, like you are empowered today. So what is your understanding of women empowerment? Which type of woman you visualize when you can say that, yes, this woman is empowered woman? Ma'am, uh, you know what? I think, ma'am, uh, uh, empowered woman, uh, it basically a lady, a girl, see these all things, and these are especially start from her home. Uh, uh, you can't believe, ma'am, that at our home, we all said that my house is like a, a parliament. On every topic we discuss, we are uh, debating, and if we are not agree, then we are uh, like shouting also. No, I am not agree with that. So somehow, uh, I think, ma'am, when women participating in every, every topic, like uh, not only the household things, especially that if you are going for traveling also, so your participation, your views always matters. Uh, in fact, today I'm uh, uh, teaching, taught in my class, like uh, when, especially in this universe, there are, uh, is, you can see that men and, wo and women, we all do, create a universe, create a world, then why are men only privileged? Why women not? But uh, you can see that women also participated, women also do a uh, very hard work. So why this thing? So in my opinion, ma'am, like if you are not, uh, if you are not capable to raise your wives, so no one can care. So firstly, you have to aware about your rights, about your uh, that what is your right, that what you want. So firstly, you have to recognize yourself. In my opinion, empowered woman. Empowered woman, it means a woman who is not afraid of anyone, a woman who is always ready for facing any kind of circumstances or situation, in my opinion. And also a woman always, uh, that woman, those who are ready for any kind of situation and taking decision making, so they are empowered. Beautiful, beautiful. A woman who has right to take decision is empowerment. And the woman who has who has to like take care of all the affairs of the world, it is not particularly, particularly the soft things the woman has to deal and the hard things the woman has to leave for the men. That's really a beautiful idea and beautiful thought. That's why you are empowered yourself here. I can see you. Now, Shazia, what do you think that what are the barriers why women still if we go uh, to if we um, like consult the data and we see the status of women in different countries so we find them that still there is a long way to be empowered in many of the fields when it comes to the higher position still there is a mindset a stereotype mindset that women cannot go to the highest position and with, before appointing a woman for that position the uh, hiring authority thinks thousands of time, time whether they have to appoint the women or not. So what are the barriers? Why this type of mindset is still prevailing in the society? Uh, Ma'am, you know what? Uh, uh, maybe this is the mindset of our society. But firstly, we all women have to came to change this mindset. This is our duty. So firstly, you have to change. You can't believe, ma'am, right now I'm this field. UPSC, I am, take, I am taking classes of UPSC. This is one of the world's toughest examination. India's UPSC examination. And you can't believe that this is completely, in this field, mainly male taking classes. Very few females are taking classes in this field. But I thought, you know, I have to take risks. 
when i when i uh, uh, announced that i am going to taking classes for civil services examination lots of people told me that that how you are facing because a lots of students and they are talking like uh, debating and something so can you tackle all that questions then i told that i am not worried about that if i am not going to face these all things then how i learn because i have to firstly you have to go in that conditions and then you know everything and right now uh, seriously i am uh, telling you ma'am that right now in whenever i am uh, if, whenever from whenever i am in this field almost a uh, lots of females i appreciated and i uh, i suggested to them that uh, they they told me ki, that shazia really i also want to take classes in competitive field uh before this they were not interested but right now they were interested and they are coming to teach in this field so yeah. now they are bravely they are taking classes and bravely they are taking all questions of males and females so from my, uh, in my opinion ma'am barriers are always you know what when you are in your house there is also barrier when you are outside your house there is also barrier so this is about to mindset and firstly you have to change your mindset that barriers how to handle this kind of barriers so firstly we have to prepare ourselves then that how to handle so uh, in my opinion ma'am we have to strong not not by physic you have to strong you have to is firstly strong by your mind very true such a beautiful thought that we have to be a strong mentally first not only physically and everything depends on the mind i always tell to my people around me also that you know i have found the people mostly they will say they are sick if i small small things they are sick so i said you know your sickness is in the mind not in your body if you feel yes. you feel that like you are not feeling well i am feeling low if you feel that you are low then only you are low you feel that you are good fit fine by the grace of almighty then alhamdulillah you will be all right shazia thank you very much for enlightening and for giving such wonderful uh, insights about women empowerment now i would request you that there are many women who are waiting for the message from the successful women that what are the mantras of their success and how they all can be successful in their own lives they also can be empowered they also can be uh, strong enough as you are so what is your message for the women folk uh, i really uh, like to give a message to all ladies to all women and to all girls uh, i really want to say first thing that ki please study hard this is my first mantra that if really if you are not in touch of education so please be in touch because you know what firstly when you want to change some uh, somebody's mindset so firstly you have to be strong by your education that is the one of the most important weapon for every lady so firstly uh, take attention and you your first priority will be education and after that you know what when you educated then after that you are capable to uh, take decision and you are capable to uh, to uh, take any kind of decision and you have to told some 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 other people ki like that what we are and what we want to the first thing is that ma'am uh, i think then when you are not we are not taking uh, any kind of risk in your life when you are like just just i want to say when you are eating by your choice you are right now you are married by your choice so then why you are not choosing your career also so you have to also take decision about your career and you know what the first thing is this ma'am that in this world those who are uh, those who are earning those who are economically sound they were uh, they were identified that they are the productive person especially right now in this scenario you can see this so i am also saying to all women so please participate in this running economy also if you also contribute is uh, somehow especially like little bit or maybe many if you are if you became the part of this economy then slowly slowly your condition almost change and you are also in very good condition so not only uh, education you have to take education you are also you are also targeting to be the part of this economy system and you are also be a very aware about that what is uh, currently scenario what exactly political scenario because almost a mindset is also created like women were not interesting in politics women are not 
interested in other things then why you are separating from these things you are also the part of this society then you are also you are also aware about these all things that what is going on uh, you can't believe ma'am just like uh, russia ukraine war somehow i am asking to a girl that you know i don't know ma'am and i am not interested this is not a, a this is not the uh, strong behavior and this is not not acceptable because you are a citizen and you are a uh, you are a human first of all so you have to aware about this all things and always try to gain your knowledge and always try when you get when you get knowledge after that uh, obviously you became strong in my opinion yes thank you very much shazia for your wonderful message for the women that first of all they have to be uh, they have to be strong enough in your studies in your knowledge in the information and they should consider the part of this world what is happening in the world they should know about that they should uh, be well informed then only they can protect themselves from being misused or from being misled because there are many people who are going to misguide you, mislead you, misuse you, and lots of exploitations are going on. It is just because we are not well aware. So aware as you know, ma'am, right now, as you know, ma'am, right now we are in the era of uh, social media, and what what we have rights uh, what for the Facebook or for the this kind of social media, if some somebody threaten us, and for the women, right? So you have to aware these all things about. Very true, very true. First thing is that we have to be aware of everything, whatever is happening around us, and we have to be strong enough in our studies, in our knowledge, whatever degree we have taken, the degree should, we should prove that, yes, we are the holder of this BSc, BA, MSc, MSA, PhD, whatever we have done, it should not be for the sake of degree only. So we have to empower ourselves with knowledge, with wisdom, with experience, with awareness. Thank you very much. And Shari. one more thing, ma'am, that we, we really want to say that every woman will, will be the part of this economy. Sure, sure. It is said that this era is going to be the women era. We have to realize yeah. and we have to grab the opportunity. We have to grab it. We have to prove it. Yeah. We have to come forward. Thank you very much, Shazia, for being a strong woman, for being the iron lady. And may God bless you always. These wishes are... Thank uh, you so great. much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks much for being with us. Thank you. And Thank take you. Care. Namaste from Bye -bye. India. Bye-bye.